For our shopping cart, we will build a relatively complex backend architecture. We will not run everything in one single express server. We could potentially if we want, but it wouldn't be a scalable approach. Instead, we will create two separate servers, one to be used as a web server and the other to run our APIs as a service. We will also implement an HTTP proxy in order to be compliant with browser security policy for cross-origin resource sharing. Basically, our client application will interact always with a web server. And when there will be a call to the API, our web server will forward the request to the API server and send us back a response once it gets it. Because the complexity of our backend, we need to have a robust setup capable at least to handle all basic errors. For instance, our current Express setup, it's okay for running our application locally, but it will badly fail if you will try to deploy it as it is on Amazon Web Services. Node and Express will deserve an in-deep course on their own, but there is a tool provided by Express that could provide us an exceptional base for constructing our backend. The tool is Express Generator. Before moving to install Express Generator, make a backup of your package JSON file. Otherwise, it will be overwritten by Express Generator. So duplicate package JSON and rename it differently. From terminal, quit the server. If you never installed the Express command tool, you firstly need to run npm install Express Generator globally. In the doubt, if you run this command anyway, it won't arm. Then you just need to run Express. You just answer Y for yes. Now, if you open the package JSON file, you will see that Express has overwritten the original dependencies. We will need to copy them from our backup file, but before we do that, let's run npm install to get all new dependencies from Express. By the way, you probably already noticed that Express Generator has added a couple of files. For instance, we have now an app.js file, which is our new web server with all the most commonly used components and middlewares. And with a Jade View Engine already set up. We will not use View Engines, so you can comment it out or remove it. Alright, now it's time to copy the dependencies from our backup and carefully paste them in the new package JSON. Remember to add a comma before pasting the list of dependencies. Otherwise, you will get an error when you will start your server. Finally, we need to copy the dev dependencies as well. You might have noticed that Express Generator set your start command to run the www file inside the bin folder. In fact, in this setup, you cannot start the server launching app.js directly. App.js is just a module where to handle roots and middlewares. Instead, port and listenings are set inside the bin folder. Okay, now run npm start from terminal and check if everything works fine. If you try to go to the admin link, you should get an error saying that there are not view engine specified in our server. We just need to replace this middleware with the one we created to catch all URLs. Now, if you save and restart the server, 
you will see that the server doesn't look for a view engine anymore. And everything works as expected. One last thing, which is quite handy in development. You can see that all requests are logged in our terminal. 